Welcome one and all, to today's lecture on interior and corner solutions of the utility maximization problem. In this lecture, we will explore the concept of utility maximization, focusing on the possibilities of both interior and corner solutions. So, let's begin. Utility maximization is a fundamental concept in economics that is used to explain how individuals make choices in such a way that maximizes their overall satisfaction. The level of this satisfaction is represented by a utility function. The process of taking such a decision involves finding the optimum allocation of scarce resources to achieve the maximum level of utility, made under various constraints. This is usually represented in graphs using budget lines and indifference curves. The solution of such allocation bundles may be presented as an interior solution bundle or a corner solution bundle. Let us see what each of these mean. To begin with, consumption bundles are sets of two or more goods purchased and consumed together. An interior solution bundle occurs when the equilibrium bundle lies within the interior or the range of affordable values, of the constraint set. In simple words, it means the equilibrium quantity is present on the indifference curve in such a point that both commodities are present in the bundle. None of the goods are sacrificed from the bundle completely. It means, finding the best combination of goods or choices that makes a person the happiest, as per their budget and the prices of goods. It's the perfect point that provides the highest level of satisfaction without overspending or underspending. Stating more technically, the consumer is able to allocate their resources optimally without fully exhausting any of the available options. For example, if a person has a limited budget and wants to decide how much of each good to buy, an interior solution means choosing an amount of each good that provides the most satisfaction without spending all the money on one good or not buying enough of another good. Graphically, we can represent the utility function as an indifference curve map. These indifference curves show combinations of X and Y that give the same level of utility for each indifference curve of the consumer. The budget constraint represents the combinations of X and Y that the consumer can afford with their income. The optimal solution will be the point of tangency between the highest possible indifference curve and the budget constraint. This occurs where the slope of the indifference curve is equal to the slope of the budget constraint. The slope of the indifference curve represents the marginal rate of substitution. The slope of the budget constraint represents the relative price ratio between the goods. Economists use the interior solution to understand consumer preferences, how people make decisions, and how changes in prices or income affect their choices. It helps us analyze the best way to allocate resources and make informed decisions about production and consumption. Now, let's explore corner solutions. A corner solution is when the optimal bundle for consumption lies at any one of the extreme boundaries of the budget line. This means that the consumer fully spends all his income for getting only one of the goods. A corner solution occurs when a person's optimal choice is either fully utilizing one option or completely ignoring another option. For example, let's say a person has a limited budget and wants to decide between two goods. A and B. In a corner solution, they might choose to spend all of their budget on good A, completely ignoring good B. Or they might choose to spend nothing on good A and allocate their entire budget to good B. Corner solutions result in an extreme outcome rather than a balanced choice between available options. A corner solution can arise due to various reasons. It could be because of personal preferences, budget constraints, or the unavailability or undesirability of certain options. The consumer may find that fully investing in one option or completely ignoring another is the most optimal or satisfying choice for them given the circumstances. Such corner solutions are important to understand how individuals take decisions, what constraints they face, and what are their preferences. It helps economists and policymakers to study market behavior resource allocation, and the impact of policy changes. 
both interior and corner solutions have important implications for understanding consumer behavior and market outcomes. Interior solutions reflect situations where consumers have choices and trade-offs between different goods, while corner solutions highlight cases where certain goods become dominant or play a significant role in consumption decisions. In conclusion, Understanding interior and corner solutions to the utility maximization problem provides valuable insights into consumer behavior and resource allocation. By analyzing the optimization process and considering the constraints faced by consumers, we can gain a deeper understanding of their preferences and decision making. Thank you for joining today's lecture on interior and corner solutions to the utility maximization problem. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Stay curious, and until next time, take care.